Good afternoon to everybody. All the students preparing for NEET UG exam to become a doctor. It's a very easy exam provided. You know what to read and if you have concepts and at least 500 hours of your time you spend with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. I will make you to become the doctors. So, we conduct these live YouTube interactive classes for the NEET UG every day. So, let us start with the topic of biological classification, one of the favorite topics of the examiner. In each of these classes, what we do is, there are about 10,000 questions in biology, 10,000 questions in physics, 10,000 questions in chemistry. If you take the last 20 years of MBBS entrance exam. So, if you can solve all these 30,000 questions, then nobody will stop you from becoming a neat UG exam topper. But the whole problem is, daddy says, go to this coaching. Your maternal auntie bolega, nene beta, whose coaching center better hai? Then you will see some advertisements. So you are totally confused. What is better? How to start? How to read? So every day, three hours you spend with Dr. Murli Bharadwaj. Question after question, question after question, all 30,000 questions. Let us both discuss, debate and review and if you follow me for the next 500 hours, every day for about 3 hours on this YouTube channel, I will make you the master of the concepts and win the exam. Now biological classification is a very important chapter in biology. Let us take up the questions on this topic. Phenetic classification is based on what? There are various ways by which the animal kingdom, plant kingdom has been divided by the scientists throughout the last 200 years. The whole science of biology has evolved in the last 200 years. So one of the classification system is phonetic classification. So its basis kya hota hai? If you take a lizard, lizard walo mein na? And if you take a crocodile, donon ke beech mein kya similarity rehta hai? Crocodile ko bhi tail rehta, lizard ko bhi tail rehta. Crocodile face also looks like that triangular, Lizard also looks triangular. So, if some characteristics, the shape and the tail like features, whenever they are similar, then they brought all those animals or plants into that particular class. So, this kind of a classification, which is based on the observable characteristics of the organisms is called Phenetic classification. Kya hai uska naam? Phenetic classification is what you have to remember. Phenetic ka matlab hota hai like with like. So use certain characters. If they are similar, donon ko tail rahe to, they both are similar. So that is a very old classification. Then, uh, Presently, the classification is based on the DNA, genetics, etc, etc. So, if you take for example, the lizard and crocodile, they both have similar kind of body features. That's the reason they both are put into the same class. Whereas birds are made different. That was the 
phonetic classification. That is, if you take the phylogenetic classification, is me crocodile or bird dono ande x banate hai, jisko shell rehta hai. Isliye, ye dono ko ek class me lagaya phylogenetic classification bolte hai isko. So, this is based on the biological properties, phylogenetic, whereas phonetic is based on the shape, lookalike features, that is the basis of the phonetic classification, which you have to remember. Now, the next question in Jipma, both Lajabab question tha, even Jammu Kashmir entrance may be puchan tha. In five kingdom classification, five kingdom classification, single cell eukaryotes, they are being placed under the, which class? Now, what is this five kingdom classification? Let us uh, first become very sure. If you look at the protista, this kingdom protista, Pro means what? First is pro. Right? Pre also means first. So, the very first kingdom in the living organisms was the protista. Isme kisko add kiya tha? Any organism which is not a plant, which is not an animal, which is not a fungus, which is not a bacteria, usko kingdom protista mein bit hai. And uh, these organisms, they are all eukaryotes. And they are produced 1.5 billion years ago. Million kya hota hai? 10 lakh ko million bolte. Karod bole to? 10 million ko 1 karod bolte. Billion kya hota hai? Billion is 1000 million. So, 1.5 billion saal ke pehle you used to get this protista. I mean that time they are being, they started and uh, based upon their nutrition type of nutrition wo apne aap nutrition banata ya dusron ko kha ke nutrition uh, lega uske basis pe the classification of the protista was based on. So in the five kingdom classification, a eukaryote which is single cell is placed under the group called protista is what you have to basically remember. So, a protista ka important characteristic features kya hota hai? Fada fada bolo. Eukaryotic hota hai. They are all unicellular, single cell ka hota hai. They are autotrophic. Apne aap khana banate hai. Heterotrophic, they will also depend upon others for their food and both the types, they are not only autotrophic, they can be autotrophic, they can be heterotrophic. That is what you need to remember. Most of them, protista may, these unicellular organisms, they produce asexually, but some of them can even produce by conjugation. Chalo, bacho, conjugation kya hota hai? हम बात करेंगे ये एक सेल है इसके अंदर डीएनए है और एक सेल यहां है इसके अंदर भी डीएनए है दोनों सेल आपस में आके अगर डीएनए का एक्सचेंज हो गया राइट सो इफ दिस सेल हैपेंड टू गिव टू इट्स बेबी एक्सचेंजिंग द डीएनए that kind of a reproduction is basically called conjugation. So, some of the members of the protista, can you give me back? Protista, they basically reproduce even by conjugation is what you have to ultimately remember. Now, in quote, taxonomic misfits bolte hai. Taxonomic misfits. Kyo? क्योंकि ये यूकैरियोटिक सेल्स है मतलब इसको डीएनए है न्यूक्लियस है सब कुछ है कैरियो का मतलब होता है न्यूक्लियस इनको न्यूक्लियस है कैन यू 
या इनके अंदर न्यूक्लियस इज देर बट यू कैन कॉल देम प्लांट यू कैन कॉल देम एनिमल यू कैन कॉल देम फंगस इसलिए इसको टैक्सोनॉमिक मिसफिट बोलते हैं आप ट्वेल्थ क्लास बायोलॉजी खत्म करने के बाद अगर एमबीबीएस में सीट नहीं आए तो क्या हो जाता ना आप जाके बीकॉम कर सकते ना आप जाके इंजीनियरिंग कर सकते सो यू बिकम ए प्लस टू प्लस टू मिस टैक्सोनॉमिक मिसफिट सो इसलिए इनको कहते हैं टैक्सोनॉमिक मिसफिट इज वॉट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर 